This is the Juno's node slicing demo. Um, the first thing we're going to showcase here is GNF creation. Now, for those of you that don't know what a GNF is, it is equivalent to one or two Juno's control plane instances on VMs. You can look at these as external REs on a server and the corresponding NPCs or line cards. And so you have to match them up to create one GNF instance. So here we are on the JDM, the Jupyter Device Manager, and we see that there are already four GNFs in existence in this particular setup. So we're going to do a fifth. So the first thing we're going to showcase is just the file we're using. So again, if you have familiarity with JDM with something like NFX, it's very much run the same way, using the same schema. We are in var third party. This is the particular x86 image we're using. Uh, this is before release, so we have a daily here. And now we're just running the commands that you can run in edit mode. So we're doing set VNF. I'm gonna to try to question mark out so you can see. We're gonna call it hotshots GNF E. And we're going to use the ID of five. Five is very important because we're gonna to have to do a configuration on the base chassis also declaring ID five. Now, with this chassis type, you know, modular MX is supported. We're using an MX 2010. And then the resource template, there are four different options. In this demo, we're using the smallest one, which is the two core 16 gig. And the last thing is the serial port, which is not mandatory. We're using 2005. In the lab here, we have ID 5, 2005. That's the schema we use, 2000 and ID, to keep this consistent. Now, that's one configuration line, and here is the request command that we're going to be using. It's using, um, declaring that image again. So request virtual network function add image for our third party and then the image name. Following that, we have server. So this is gonna be server zero. Um, later on, we'll show redundancy. So we'll be able to show server zero and server one. For this particular part of the demo, we're only doing one server. So also declaring that image for Hotshots GNF E. So because we have used this image before, it's gonna have it in memory and it's gonna say primary image already exists. If it was the first time being created, it would say adding image and it would take a tiny bit longer. So now you can see there is the fifth one there. We're not done yet. Um, we have to do the matching configuration on the MX side. Also, it's really important to know that when you create these VMs and you assign them the, you know, the FPCs, it takes time. So you're creating a JCP on a VM. So as it would take time to build a VM up, it takes time to build up that VM on the server. So here we have the configuration set GNF5, and we're doing um, FPC7, and then we're also gonna do FPC8. You could have done these in one command, I did them in two. So now we have, remember, that ID5 on the um, JDM device, and we're doing GNF5. So they're matching. So that Hotshots GNF E will be assigned 7 and 8. Now, as we did the commit, you can see the line cards are rebooting. So this is important to know. Whatever image is on that GNF, those line cards will take that image. So running 17.2 running 17.3, the line cards are gonna have to reboot in that image. The same way you would if, if you were bringing up an RE for the first time. The line cards um, must be rebooted with the image on that RE. Same thing here, except for now, the line cards are on a chassis while the REs are now on a server. So here you can see, you know, eight's already coming online a little faster than seven. Um, and you know, with the magic of editing, sped up time a little bit, and you can see it's already you know coming online. If you look at the column on the right hand side, you can see the GNF IDs from the base system. So again, this base system is an MX2010, and from that show command, you can see which FPC is on which GNF. So the next step we're gonna do is um, look at the configuration and again 
GNFE serial port 2005. So we're going to telnet to that port. So we're gonna put in the IP of the server and use port 2005 to connect to this device. Now, because we're reusing you know, the same GNFs that we always do, um, we're bringing up the same ones up and down in our lab, it's gonna come up with the previous image. Had it been the first time I brought up that image, it would come up in amnesiac mode. But because I've used Hotshot's GNFE, it has that in memory. So it's gonna bring up the image I used last time or where I left off. So if I do um, show command of the configuration, we'll see a configuration. So here we have the show chassis FPC. What's important to know with this is that we are showcasing only slots seven and eight. So this GNF, which was assigned slot seven and eight on the MX 2010, only has visibility into those slots and no other ones. Very important to know, you have that look and feel of the same of a router without having your own individual router. Um, so here, just again, showing the show command, same thing, it's Junos, it looks like Junos. There's really not that much of a difference here to the user. Um, the person who's managing this GNF will have that look and feel of having their own router. And so, you know, that's, that's kind of one of the goals here.